Okay, in this video, we're going to look at what causes a vertical shift when we're looking at graphing an equation. Uh, for example, here we're looking at what's going to move your graph up and down. And before you look at this, you may want to go back and review your notes of all those parent functions where we looked at the identity function, the quadratic function, the square root, absolute value, the cubic function, and so forth, to make sure you remember what the basic function looks like because we're going to be looking at those functions here, but now we're going to look at what's moving the graph up and down to cause a vertical shift. So in general, I'm going to give you kind of a formula for what's going to cause a vertical shift. And if we have a function f of x, then the new function, we'll call that h of x, what's going to cause a vertical shift is if we take our function f of x, and we add something to the outside of the function. Okay, now I know that first this may look a little confusing. So f of x is representing some function. Our new function is we're gonna take f of x and we're gonna add our subtracting number to the outside of it. So for a specific example, if we're given our base function here, x squared. Okay, so there's our parent function. We know that x squared the graph is a parabola here at the origin that's going to open up. Now we want to figure out what's going to happen to the function h of x if we take x squared and we add 3. Now notice the 3, I call this on the outside of the function here like the c value is over here. In other words, it's on the outside is we're going to square x and then add 3. Okay, so that means that's the last part of it, so it's on the outside of the part that is being squared. So that's what I mean by the outside of the function. So this plus 3 is going to essentially move all points up 3 units. So that means every single point is going to move up 3 units on the y-axis. So we're going to have the same shape parabola, except for all the points here are going to simply be moved up three units. So any point you were to pick, it's going to move up exactly three units. So therefore, the shape of the graph hasn't changed. And what we call this, this is all classified as a uh, rigid transformation. And it's called rigid transformation because all we're doing is moving the graph. We're not actually changing the shape. So here, if you have something on the outside of the function, this plus C, is going to move the graph up or down. And it's going to move up if we add, and it's going to move down if we subtract. So if we look at another example here, see if you can determine what's going to happen. If we have our function f of x is the absolute value of x, and we know that the absolute value of x is going to have a sharp V, and that's going to go at the origin here. And if we have a new function, H of X, we have absolute value of X. And then if we subtract 2, well, the negative 2 says we're going to go down, so we're going to move the entire graph down 2 units. So we're moving this point here at the origin down 2 units, and we're going to have the same exact v-shape because once again essentially we're moving every point here on the blue graph is going to go straight down two units every single point okay so that is what's going to cause a vertical shift so again if you go up here and look at kind of this general form of it if you have your function and then if we add something here or subtract something on the outside of the function it's going to move the graph simply up or down.